हेलो एवरी वन आई वीना गांधी वंस आर कैन वेलकम यू ऑल इन लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो फंक्शन इन अ सी इन दिस वीडियो यू विल लर्न स्टोरेज क्लासेस टॉपिक्स कवर्ड इन दिस वीडियो आर वॉट टू मीन बाय स्टोरेज क्लासेस सेकेंड वॉट टू मीन बाय स्कोप ऑफ वेरिएबल्स इन दैट यू विल लर्न लोकल वेरिएबल एंड ग्लोबल वेरिएबल देन टाइप्स ऑफ स्टोरेज क्लासेस एटो स्टैटिक रजिस्टर एक्सटर्न देन वील सी कंपेरिजन बिटवीन एटो एंड स्टैटिक वेरिएबल्स एंड असाइनमेंट ऑन अबाउट टॉपिक्स नो वॉट डू यू मीन बाय स्टोरेज क्लासेस वेन यू डिफाइन और डिक्लेयर अ वेरिएबल इन अ प्रोग्राम कंपेरिजन विल अलोकेट अ मेमरी फॉर द वेरिएबल्स मीन्स एवरी वेरिएबल इन अ प्रोग्राम हैज अ मेमरी असोसिएट विथ इट सो मेमरी रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ वेरिएबल इज डिफरेंट फॉर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ डेटा so memory can be allocated or released at different places so storage class refers to the manner in which memory is allocated by the compiler for the variable a storage class of a variable determines the following things first storage area is place where the variable is stored it can be a main memory it can be the register etc a scope of variable region or part of the program in which variable is accessible then default initial value of the variable and lifetime of the variable means period of time during which the memory is allocated for the variable next scope of the variable a scope of the variable in any programming is a region of the program a part of the program where defined variable can have its existence and beyond that region or block variable cannot be access the scope of variables are two types local scope or block scope and second is global scope or file scope what is a local or block scope a variable is said to have local scope or a block scope if it is defined within a function or local block A variable having local scope is known as local variables. Means if you define the variable inside a function or inside any opening and curly braces, it's called as a block. Then it is having local scope or local. This is known as local variable. Now, statements within a function or within the block can access that variable. So lifetime of variable remains till that block or function where it is declared. file scope or global scope of a variable a variable is said to have global scope or file scope if it is defined outside the function and whose visibility is is in entire program which can be accessed throughout the entire program so variable defined within the global scope is called as global variables normally its global variables are defined outside the function usually on the top of the program before the main function now uh, these global variables hold the values throughout the life of the throughout the life of the program and they can be accessed inside any of the function defined in that program let us see program on local scope or block scope and file scope now here first include the header file stdio.h in main function we declare a variable num1 Having value zero of type integer, then we declare a function void message. In printf, in main, we are printing the value of num one equal to percent d num one, and after that we are calling the pair function message and return zero. Now this num one is local to this main function. Its scope is even in in the only main function. It cannot be accessed outside the function. Outside the main function. Now in message also we de we declare the uh, variable num one equal to having value one and type integer. Now this num one is local to this message. It cannot be accessed outside the message. Its scope is within the message only. I print a backslash n in the message num one equal to percent d num one. Now I have already executed this program and you can see the output here in main num one equal to zero. And in message num one equal to one means this num one is local to this main, so its value is zero. 
and in message num1 value is 1 so it is local to that only uh, message function you cannot access the this num1 outside the message function now suppose if i remove the, uh, remove here int so if i want to access num1 of the main function it will give error here the number undeclared in the function local to function main number equal to 1 so we cannot access that number 1 defined uh, declared in the main into the message let us see other program on global scope or file scope now hash include hdr.h first include error file and after that we declare a function message of type void in int num1 equal to 1 so we define a variable num1 of type integer having value 1 now this variable and this function define about the main function it is known as uh, num1 is known as global variable and this function is known as a uh, global function means we can access this function in any other function also so int the main function printed the value of printed the printf main equal to print the value of num1 and after that we are calling the function message here then again also message we are printing the value of uh, num1 so print a backslash n which is equal to percent d num1 so now uh, uh, scope of the this uh, num1 is entire throughout the program means if you define any number of program any, fun any function can access that num1 means main function can access so message function can access if i define one or, or, or two more functions and if i call that a number in uh, that function it can be visible in all the functions this is its scope is in throughout the entire program you can see the output here in main main equal to one and message equal to one means number one having global scope or file scope let us modify the same program uh, here I, I have declared number as a global variable as well as a number is defined the inside the main as a local variable. So uh, this num1 which is defined uh, before the main function is a global variable and this number which is defined inside the main function having local variable. Now print a main percent in num1. So here here it will print 10 because why uh, lo this local variable suppress or bypass the what global variable because its scope is in the this uh, main function only this num1 having scope only in the main function so this local variable suppress the value of the what a global variable after that i am calling the function message now in message we are again printing the value of num1 now this num1 is global variable this in message function it paint the value of the global variable so you can see in the output main equal to 10 means in the main value of the local variable is printed and in the message value of the global variable is printed if the name of the local variable and global variable are same then local variable suppress the value of the what global variable types of storage classes C language supports four types of storage classes. First, automatic, second, static, third, register, and fourth, external. Let's see one by one all these four classes. First storage class, automatic storage class. This is the default storage class used by all the variables. We suppose if in main function I declare two variables int a, b. So a, b having automatic storage class by default though we do not mention the keyword auto but they are of type auto storage class so all variables declared inside the function or block are, are, are of type auto storage class by default though we do not declare it explicitly so in order to define explicitly we use the keyword auto keyword now these uh, uh, variables declared by using auto storage class are stored in a main memory so storage is a main memory and they having scope, local scope or uh, block scope. The default initial value is garbage. 
and lifetime of this variable exist as long as the control remains in the block or in the function. As the control goes out of the block or function terminates, these variables are destroyed. This memory is deallocated of these variables. So we declare the uh, this variable like this at the keyword is optional int at numbers. So first storage class, then we define the data type and then we define the variable name. So at to int in number. Second storage class is static storage class. Static storage class is declared with the keyword static. Now the static variables are initialized automatically to zero. Static variables continue to exist even after the block terminates in which they are defined. Thus the value of static variable in function is retained or persists between the repeated function calls to the same function. Now storage of static storage class, uh, st uh, static st uh, variable is main memory and scope is local, local scope or global scope. We can define inside the function or we can define uh, on the top above the main function. Default initial value of the static variable is zero and lifetime the value of the variable persists between the different function calls. And so we how to declare? We declare by using storage class first static then type int and variable name number. Let us see example of active and static storage class. But here in this program, first include the header file stdio.h in the main function, declare a variable num of type int and having storage class atto. If we don't specify atto storage class, by default is atto only. So num equal to 20. Now this num is uh, num scope is still throughout the main function. A print a backslash n num percent in nums. It will print first 20. After that again I create the block by creating over in opening and closing braces. Atto in that block I define again the variable num of uh, atto storage class having type int and num equal to 60. Uh, this 60 value only exists, scope of this 60 is only in this block. We cannot access this 60 value outside the block. So printf num percent d num it will print the value 60. After this block ends, the value of this num, uh, num variable will be destroyed. Memory will be disallocated. Now again here printf backslash n num percent d num. So this value num of equal to 20 will be here printed. So you can see in output num first 20, then in the block 60 and again, in, again 20. Let us see example of static storage class. First include the header file stdio.h. In main function, declare a function display, void display. Here function is display function is called three times. After that, in display function, we define two variables. One is uh, actual storage class or one is static storage class. So atto int a equal to zero and static int c. So by default, uh, static variable having zero value. So C will having zero value. Now we increment C plus plus and A plus plus and then print up the value of C and A. The first time when we call display, at that time A having value zero and C having value zero. So C plus plus C will be one, A plus plus A will be one. So it will print one one. So you can see in output one one. Again, second display display uh, function is called at that time again this a will be initialized to 0 and c will what persist the previous value because static value persist the uh, values between function calls so it persists the previous value it is 1 so c plus plus will become 1 become 2 and a will become 1 0 a having value 0 so a will become 1 so it will print 2 1 Again, third function called display. Again, after that, again, A will be initialized to 0 and C will be persist the previous function value, previous value, that is what 2. So, C++ plus plus will be to become 3 and A will become 1. So, it will print 3, 1. So, static variable persists the value between function calls. Its, it's a scope is entire uh, uh, within the function calls, the entire program. You can see the output here 1, 1, 2, 1. And
थर्ड स्टोरेज क्लास इज रजिस्टर स्टोरेज क्लास रजिस्टर की वर्ड इज यूज टू डिफाइन द लोकल वेरिएबल्स अब इस लोकल वेरिएबल्स आर स्टोर्ड इन सी पी यू रजिस्टर इंस्टेड ऑफ मेन मेमरी और रैम इफ द प्री रजिस्टर आर नॉट अवेलेबल देन दे आर स्टोर इन अ मेन मेमरी ओनली बिकॉज सी पी रजिस्टर आर आर वेरी लेस सो इफ द रजिस्टर आर नॉट फ्री देन दे आर देन दिस वेरिएबल्स आर स्टोर इन अ मेन मेमरी वेन वेरिएबल इज स्टोर इन रजिस्टर द मैक्सिमम साइज ऑफ द वेरिएबल इज इक्वल टू मैक्सिम साइज ऑफ रजिस्टर Now, when you uh, store this variable in the register, the access is faster than the main memory. So, usually, few variables which are which are required frequently in a program are declared with the keyword register, which improves the run time of the program. We cannot dereference the register variable. Means we cannot find we cannot use address operator or we cannot we cannot find the address of the register variable. Now, storage. Our CPU register means if we define the variable using register storage class, they are stored in the CPU registers. Scope will be local scope or block scope. Initial value is garbage. Lifetime exists as long as control remains in the block. Now how we declare the register int count? Let us see example of register storage class. First, include the header file hash include stdio dot h in main function. Now de uh, declare a variable i of type register storage class int i. Then for i equal to one, i less than equal to ten, i plus plus print f percent i. So you print the value from one to ten. Now here we declare the variable i with the register storage class. But compiler does not guarantee that this variable will be stored in the CPU registers. If the CPU registers are available, they are free. Then only this I value will be stored in the CPU registers. Now, when we uh, now when to use storage register storage class, suppose so I is required frequently in a for loop. So this uh, store uh, so that's why we declare the I variable as a register storage class. So which variables are required frequently, then we can store in a CPU register instead of in a main memory. Last storage class. external storage class extend keyword is used to denote the external storage class now the external storage class is used to give a reference of a global variable it is visible to all the program files the external storage class is used to tell the compiler that variable defined as a extern is declared with an external linkage elsewhere in the program so when you use the extern the variable cannot be initialized because it has defined somewhere in the other location or other file that has been previously defined so the variable declared with the extern are not allocated in any memory when you have multiple files and you define a global variable or function which which also use in other files or other files then extern keyword will be used in other file to provide the reference to define variable or function Just for understanding, extern is used to declare a global variable or function in another file. The extern modifier is most commonly used when there are two or more files sharing the same global variables or functions. A storage is main memory. Scope is the file scope or global scope. Default value is zero. Lifetime is as long as the program execution does not come to end. How to declare that extern int num one? Let's see example that you will understand. Here are two files a dot c and b dot c. In a dot c, I define hash include stdio dot h and I define the global variable int count. Then I define here function with extern storage class extern void write extern. Now in the main function. I initialize the uh, I initialize the value of count equal to five, and then call the function write extern, and it turns zero. Now here I have not defined the function write extern here, only declare. But this function this extern tells that means this function is defined other file. It tells the compiler that this 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 function write extern is defined other file. 
Now in b.c hash include studio.h. Now here I use the word extern int count. Means this tells that this count keyword, this count variable is already defined other 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 file having global scope. So in now in this file we write the function void write extern write extern void. So print a percent print a count is percent d and percent d backslash n count. So it will print the value of count as a file. So when we want to share the global variable between multiple files or global function between the multiple files, then we can use the extern storage class. Let us see comparison between auto and static variable. And in static variable, we have to specify the storage class to make the variable as a static. So we specify static as a storage class. It is a default storage class. There is no need to specify the keyword at all. Default value of static variable is zero. Default value of the auto variable is garbage. Static variable having local as well as file scope. Auto variable having block or local scope. Static variable retains its value between different function call. It holds its last value. Now, at a variable retains its value till the control remains in the block in which variable is declared. A static variable will be compiled first by the compiler. Automatic vari uh, variables will compile by the compiler after the static variables. So, we declare static inti, then we declare auto inti or inti. Let us see assignment of this short questions. Define a storage class. What are types of storage classes? What is the global variable? Then long questions. Let us short load on storage classes. Differentiate between static and auto variables. Expand the local and global variable with example. If you like this video, please share and subscribe to the college channel. Thank you for watching.